You load 16 tons, what do you get? Your parents sell you off to Paris Hilton. Oh, God, no. This time, I have to get a picture of the dog before anything happens to it. If you know, you know. I gotta be honest with you guys. I thought this day would never come. This is an archetype that has been recommended to me so many times, and almost every single time I've explored it, it just has never been good. I just don't know how, how else to say it. But apparently now, I'm digging the rainbow, so we're gonna talk about rainbow DK, and we're just, we're gonna taste the rainbow. We're just, we're going all in on DK today. That's what we're gonna talk about. And we're gonna figure out why the hell are so many people playing rainbow mining DK? This is this is like the biggest what the hell moment is going on within this uh, this update after again and Baku and Marin were added into the expansion. I don't know if Marin in particular is the reason why people are greeting out this deck, but I could definitely tell you a couple of reasons why this particular deck is starting to emerge. It counters a very obvious you know meta tyrant that you'll see on the ladder. So let's go ahead and go through the stats of this deck before we talk about exactly what it beats. So on HS replay, you can see that you know DK is a very popular class plague dk rainbow dk highlander rainbow dk mining rainbow dk hand buff rainbow dk it even even death knight finds a way onto the list people are experimenting with this class because they have fun with dk and trust me i see all you people watching this video rainbow dk videos are our most successful video so you know i just got to keep talking about this deck because number one i love it number two you guys love it but when you start going outside of the diamond through legend range the the scope of death knight starts to go down a little bit to where there are people playing like decks like even death knight but it's not doing too well. Even Death Knight is definitely not too good. This is some other mining DKs that aren't doing particularly well. But as you can see by the 6,000 games in Legend alone, mining DK sitting at a 52% win rate, something is definitely going on here. And the reason why we are playing Rainbow is not because we want to use the Climactic Necrotic Explosion. We are actually just playing Tempo and we're playing Lifesteal and we're playing Rush and we're just denying win conditions. Mining DK is almost like a pseudo tempo control deck where it's like we're controlling the board with our minions it seems to be a very common trend with mining decks and even in top 1000 legend with 520 games this deck so somehow maintains a positive win rate and you can actually use this deck in the top 1000 legend for mainly one reason and we'll showcase this here in a second but if you go on the donkey website there's not really anything on the main page talking about the DK until you start to scroll down a little bit. There are some people that are having success with this deck. And again, there's a very key reason, one particular matchup that will explain all of this. But if we look at the stats, we will see that Rainbow Excavate DK actually makes it to the number 15 slot on the Diamond Through Legend ranks to where it is honestly a very popular deck sitting at 2.7% of the meta. And if you look at how popular, you know, hand buff DK is, or how, uh, how popular hand buff Paladin is, you know, 3.1%, that's a lot of games. There are a lot of people playing this deck. So this is going to be a very common deck on your Legend grind if you haven't already encountered it. But then on Legend, you know, it's still maintained, sitting at a 52%, becoming 2.9% of the meta. In top 10,000, it still maintains as the best DK deck in all of Legend, sitting at 3.2% popularity. And again, even in top 1,000, it still manages to survive. So let's, let's look at the stats in top 10K, since we have 13 games to look over. And we can really understand the reasons why this deck is performing well. It has essentially three really good matchups it is a really good deck against demon hunter it's a very good deck against shaman and honestly the rogue stats really aren't showing it here but honestly look at how many rogues that you have gone up against with these stats 4000 being almost a 60 percent against rogue this is by far the easiest most consistent matchup that i had and the only reason why rogues can maybe get themselves out of this kind of game is simply due to scorpion Scorpion, you know, it, it sometimes it just finds a way and there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes Velorok has a very good angle at finding the perfect card every single time. And it's just like, I don't know what you can do in those kind of situations. But, you know, Silver Lining, we're also good against Warrior, apparently, with a 60% win rate. But if we look at the top 10k stats, you start to see a little bit of a different picture. The Warrior matchup starts to get a little bit worse. Demon Hunter kind of maintains. The Rogue matchup gets a little bit worse. But again, your most popular matchups are going to be up against Rogue, Druid, as well as Warrior, according to these stats right here. Now, one 
one thing that does particularly suck is the Druid matchup in particular. You are kind of sacrificing that matchup, and that is probably going to be one of the more popular decks to see right now. And that is part of the reason why this deck is starting to die down in popularity. But when Gen and Baku were introduced into the format, and, and as soon as Marin was uh, was available for play, this deck was just absolutely everywhere. So let's go ahead and talk about why we got to dig the rainbow and why you got to respect the rainbow now, even though we're not running the coolest card, Climactic Narcotic Explosion, but there's a very good reason for it not being run in this deck. The reason we are not running this card is because we are not spending corpses. That is the main reason. We are just not spending corpses, but we are always pushing some sort of tempo and being on the board and maintaining, you know, just removing our opponent's minions, destroying their tempo and their pressure while also keeping ourselves at a healthy life total because this deck has a lot of healing enabled within it. It's got Rainbow Seamstress as a one of copy as well as a Quartzite Crusher. There is also the Primus, the Zilliax, and even like Rezka can technically be healing if you bring it back with the, with the Rat. And that is the whole reason why this deck is extremely good. Azurite Rat works extremely well with the cards that you have at your disposal. And the main reason why we are playing the 10 mana Zilliax is because if you bring it back with the rat it becomes a 6-7 minion with you know taunt lifesteal and it also has reborn so it's a really uh you know really cool synergy to have happen technically you could play the unkill Zilliax and do something very similar so if you want to explore that route you very much can but another reason why I like the idea of running this particular module on the Zilliax is because tempo is very important with a deck like this there are times to where you know if you need to come back against a board of of minions something like Zilliax is going to be very important to throw out for like you know anywhere between three to like zero mana depending on how many minions that you have so you could run on kill Zilliax but I think that this Zilliax might be a little bit better for those two synergies that I just pointed out. Now, the rest of the deck is kind of self-explanatory with cards like, you know, obviously you have your Excavate Package cards, you have the Miracle Salesman, Runes of Darkness, very typical cards for Death Knight. But in order to utilize, you know, the rainbow aspect of the deck, you've also got cards like Frost Strike as very necessary removal for the early game, which is probably why this deck is very good against something like Naga Demon Hunter, for example, because you just keep removing everything that they play. And if they try to stick a 3-3, <laughs> good luck it's gonna die so yeah you have stuff like that you have threads for insane removal we have the plucky paint fin which is making uh, another appearance in a death knight deck for the main reason that you want to draw your burrow buster but you always want to draw your reska from it if you can get this card in your hand throw it out destroy it as quickly as possible in order to enable that rat synergy when you end up excavating enough times then yeah that's the main reason why these synergies work really well and it may seem weird that this deck has a lot of one of slots but it just kind of tends to work and in the game clips coming up ahead you'll kind of see how it seems that we just had everything like it just i know it seems cliche in order to say but this deck really does have a lot of tools within its toolkit to where you can kind of be like all right we got a minion on the field let me see i got i got a spray for that uh, he's got a weapon all right i got i got an icy you know weapon for that uh, he played a big minion and i'd love to take its hp well we got something for that too so this deck just really does have a lot of options available for it to where it does kind of feel like a pseudo control deck but you're playing for tempo and you want to stick minions on the field with cards like you know toy snatch and geist to give you you know a little bit of mana cheat as well as finding some undeads that maybe you might need in a clutch situation so i just love the amount of synergies that are available in this deck now in order to wrap up this uh this deck guide we'll talk about the mulligan as well as the legendary minions now i actually really like marin in this deck for two reasons number one you have the wondrous wand for zero mana cards who doesn't want that zero mana primus zero mana yog all that stuff sounds extremely great Great, but the crown. The crown is actually an extremely playable card with this deck to where if you do remember, you know, Heist Bear and Togwoggle, crown really was not an option a lot of people were going for back in the day because the Wanderous Wand was just so much more important to pop up with because you had cards like Galacron, you had like a lot of lethality tools, you had Leroy Jenkins in your deck that you could discount zero and then you could add a bunch of copies into your deck, play wand and then get a whole bunch of zero amount of copies of Leroy. So it's like, when we put things in perspective, it is really shocking to see sub decks actually want to play Marin to play crown immediately in order to get that sort of tempo now granted you do have you know goblet into kobold in order to give you like a last ditch last resort effort to try and find some legendaries that might clutch out the game but in all honesty this synergy usually does not work but it's a very fun way of trying to utilize this card but unfortunately golden kobold and, Co are, and goblet are probably going to be the worst cards unless you can tutor them one way or another but yeah those are the big legendaries headless horseman definitely makes into this deck 
deck because you want a good hero card for extra value and extra discovers with the with the discovering an undead every turn obviously you run primus yaw goes into every single deck and you need zilliax and rezka for those much needed rush and tempo swings that are this deck is honestly known for and the reason why it wins is because it takes everything from your opponent it takes their minions it takes you know their damage away because you keep healing everything and it's just really funny how this really is a control deck but it's the most tempo deck out there for death knight right now but the last thing that i'll say about this deck is the mulligan because this mulligan is honestly very straightforward you just want to keep your mining cards if possible so you keep your cobalt miners you keep your reap what you sows probably don't keep burrow buster and definitely don't keep your skeleton crew you can keep salesmen you can keep the the keychain frost strike is a good clear against tempo decks so you know you want to throw this down on turn two definitely keep your your mining casualties you could keep threads of despair against uh, decks like paladin but i would only keep this if you have something else in your hand in order to maybe like you know play onto the field maybe you just always want to keep this card against a deck that's going to flood you know against those paladin decks because you can just hero power to remove things but keeping threads of despair can sometimes be a little bit bad because you are already putting yourself in a defensive position to where you could be playing proactively to try and deal with the minions and then you have the threads when you need it in order to clear the board because you'll just draw into it so you could debatably keep this card in some matchups but i wouldn't just keep this every single time against every single aggro deck for that reason i would keep paint fin against the slower control deck so that way you can just get your rush value cards immediately probably wouldn't keep this card against like an aggro deck but if you have like that one two three curve then i would definitely keep the paint fin in those situations and the last card that i would debatably keep is going to be hell yeah and crusher depending on the matchups crusher against those paladins in order to deny the weapon is probably the first thing you're thinking of whenever you see this card and hell yeah against those slower decks so that way you can ramp up those plagues more so just get it out of hand by turn four so you don't have to worry about investing it later like it's not like this card is the end all kill all to the to the control decks but it is extra value that can definitely carry the game if you happen to be so lucky and your opponent just draws all the plagues so you know hell yeah good i don't think i have to tell you that much about why this card is fantastic and don't forget if you do enjoy this kind of content feel free to like this video subscribe to the youtube channel check out the patreon if you want to get some extra perks and bonuses for supporting the content like getting shout outs and coaching that is all available in the patreon links we've also got 10 percent off of the coolest shirts that you'll see on into the am.com slash clark hs10 so go ahead and check out those shirts you know the link will automatically apply that discount when you go to checkout so thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this deck breakdown and we'll see you for the next video like especially when we were like making um even warlock we were we were tunnel visioning on some cards and we were like you know we could get rid of them but we shouldn't get rid of them and one of those cards was defile and defile is just just one of those cards where i can't believe it just keeps needing to be uh removed from uh from warlock decks but you really got to ask yourself you know what um what are, uh, like, what is the purpose of the card in the deck? Because, yeah, Defile's a good removal card, but this is a tempo deck half the time. So, like, putting Defile in it just is kind of counterproductive at times. What are the win cons for uh, even Shaman, just aggro? Honestly, I feel like it's just giants or bust. Like, you have uh, the bouncer. Like, it's pretty much just a tempo deck. That's all it's doing. It's just it's just pushing tempo, and uh, you have eight eight scam. There's also a celestial projectionist in the list that I've seen, so it has ways of. Uh, okay, all right, hold on. He played defile. He did play defile. Okay, hold on. Why don't you chill? Coins. Okay. I mean, I could play Primus on five. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> That has to be good. I can literally just kill the giant. Honestly, a 4-3 weapon? I'll do it. We're just gonna Primus and kill his 8-8 next turn. I was depending on freezing it. If he makes a copy of it, I might be a little screwed here. But if I ended up coining out the, uh, the men- ah, It's- I mean, it's fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. Nothing like a turn five Primus, am I right? <laughs> All right, what do I get? Ooh, Quartzite Crusher? Soul Stealer is actually not a bad idea. Just have AoEs. You know what, I'm gonna go with the Soul Stealer. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill him in time. Playing the weapon is just kind of a bad next turn. I've got this and then maybe this. I've got a 100% win rate versus all paladins and rogue with it. Make totem control things with like flame tongue totem and spells that buff your board. Wait, how do you buff your board? Aren't all your buff spells odd? Like there's no board buff uh, in, in the Jombre deck. There, I mean, there's like jam session, but that's like single target buff. Not like bloodlust or wish upon a star. And honestly, like, uh, oh, wait a minute, conductivity. Oh, okay. All right, that actually is really good. That is like a plus six out of nowhere. Well, okay, what about, uh, what about ETC so you can put in Wish Upon a Star? Is that just too slow and too specific? That might just be too slow. Wait, is this just lethal? It's just lethal, guys. Ain't, ain't that ain't that something ain't that ain't that something turn five primus all right that that's not that's not normal right that's that's i don't think that's normal not necessarily that the uh the game designers aren't doing their their efforts they just they need more people because they just aren't working with enough data so if we were to have more data i feel like that would be better because then that gives us more numbers to work with but I feel like at the same time, there's a lot of sentiments, there's a lot of different changes that can that can play into that. Like for example, if they like like Snake Warlock, for example, like they wanted that to be powerful, but it was just way too much. They had to nerf it. So then you have to suddenly like dial back what exactly uh you know how how you think your community is gonna react to it, what the sentiment behind it is gonna be. Is it going to be a beloved archetype, or is this just going to be the next deck that people, you know, like me, complain about? May not be, uh, maybe devs, uh, not so pervert as players. Wait, what? Not so pervert as players? What does that even mean? One knowledge and dry scale instead of projectionist? Snake was powerful, but at the same, it felt really toxic. Yeah, like I said, like... Snake needed to be nerfed. But with all the nerfs that happen, it just feels kind of weird uh, to like have this, the, like the next sequence of, uh, of uh, classes come in, you know? Cause you haven't really seen them in action either. So I just feel like it makes it a little bit more digestible. I, will find a way. I guess Marrow Manipulator? Sure. All right. All, all I want is just like, I want there to be less necessary changes, you know? I don't mind changes, and I love that we're uh, we're open to the ideas of quickly changing things. But I, I I would like imagine how awesome it would be to to just see a meta develop without needing to change it in the middle of it developing. You know that I think that'd be really uh, awesome to see. But at the same time, it also means that the uh, the cards and everything that's playable. Oh yeah, wait a minute. It also, but it also means that everything needs to be like perfect from the uh, from the release point, you know. And that's really difficult to do. Every now and again, you know, you will have overtuned cards. You just need to bring them back a little bit. But just imagine how weird it would be <laughs> to literally have no changes uh, in an expansion. It's just it's so unheard of. It literally hasn't happened in years. Another frost strike. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for the wolf. I want to just play the card here. Uh, okay, okay. The classic switcheroo. When you see some decks, uh, you just uh, how could it even uh, go to head? Meaning, how could they come up with it? How could how could they think about these archetypes? Card card gamers are sadistic people, man. I'll tell I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I feel like that's a very safe thing to admit, though, because <laughs> I definitely uh, am self-aware about about the kind of gamers that uh, I surround myself with. <laughs> Card gamers love suffering, dude, which is why, like, you know, my streams do so successfully uh, in the Hearthstone world. 
because I'm just complaining half the time. These are just very complex, uh, complexly structured th therapy sessions. That's what Hearthstone streaming is. Suffering and despair. See? We have one person that's coping with us right now. We've got good music. We've got funny jokes. And every now and again, we make you feel a little bit better about yourself. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I hope he doesn't have any scoundrel things that are about to happen with that. All right, what's the play here? I want to get this out of hand, but almost all my cards give me other cards. So I guess I'm just going to do this. Nice. Then we'll go ahead and just sacrifice one coin for two coins. Dev's just adding uh, new cards uh, to players have fun. Uh, but all the time making them for uh, making them broken uh, from the start of this game. All right, well, Cross, here here's a question, and I'm playing Devil's Advocate here. I'm not trying to put you on blast. Would you rather have a card get released that uh, that is absolutely unplayable, or would you rather have it be absolutely broken? Because that is the very difficult line that you have to uh, that you have to tread on whenever you're playing, whenever you're designing a card. Because God forbid you make a bad card, because people people will tell you. People will remind you, it's like, oh, you made a bad card? Bro, this is the worst card I've ever seen. How could you make a bad card? But then it's on the complete flip side, you know? Some people will be like, wait a minute, this is the best card ever. I hate it for that reason. So, like, that's, that's the challenge when designing cards. Can you come up with a card that is strong that people be like, hell yeah, I like this, instead of being like, boo, I hate that card because it always beats me. You know, like... Can you make an ace loved by uh, the entire community? That is that is the challenge. Again, not not calling anybody out or anything, but that is that is how difficult it is to create cards. Because every now and again, you might fuck up and you might make something that'll ruin someone's day. Okay. Also, speaking of ruining days, uh, this rogue is just gone. I don't. I, it doesn't even matter what I do at this point. Tempo King, dude. Look at that. He doesn't have a Yogg left. What do I care? I'll just bring back the Rezka and just fight for board. You got a point? Exactly, man. Like, it's... it's, it's It's uh, game design and honestly, it's it's a matter of philosophy as well. You know? Because people don't like losing. How do you make losing tolerable in Hearthstone? It's 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 the million dollar question. Good guard, uh, good cards can't exist without less powerful cards. It's all relative. It's it's exactly like a deck of cards. An ace has no power unless you have a king, a queen, and a, a jack, and a, and all that other stuff. If it's just a deck full of aces, then the ace has no power. It just comes down to whoever plays the ace first, I guess. Do you think uh, you'll be trying out Even Shaman today? Uh, I want to try and be around for that if you do. Honestly, this is the only deck that I had in mind for today. I might try Even Shaman next after this. We'll, we'll give this deck like a good like uh, 40, you know, 40 minutes, an hour. See how it performs. But honestly, I've been looking for like, you know, a new deck to play to kind of like motivate me to grind to the top. And as of right now, it looks like Even Warlock is that deck. I really like even warlock. Okay, I don't know if this is lethal, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Oh wait, shit! There's a taunt in the way. <laughs> Whoops! I was so disrespecting my opponent that I didn't even notice that he had a taunt on the field. That's that's on that's on me. That's on me. I should have I should have respected my opponent more, but I didn't. I mean, dude, this matchup is, like, almost free. Uh, oh, are summoner quests free? Uh, they, okay, they are free, but they are not active right now. Hold on a second. I forgot to apply the thingy. Uh, give it a moment. Spotify isn't showing. Wait a minute. It was showing earlier, wasn't it? Stay over yonder. All right, there it is. Fixed it. And it should be working now, I believe.
Looks like it is working. Yep. It's we always gotta test it with Pedro, you know. <laughs> Armenian uh, without this is the way. You must target uh, the tone minion first before attacking anything else. Nah. Why do why why do why do I want to use my brain, Vizier? Using my brain is admitting weakness. It's admitting that I don't have what it takes to just unga bunga, and just use my uh, my my uh, my natural born God given gifts. You know. This this I'm also kind of uh, okay. It wasn't. I, I legitimately didn't see the taunt, but this just proves that the rogue matchup is so freaking free. This is why this deck is becoming popular. Okay, against a druid, do I just... Hmm, I, got, I want to just keep excavate cards. This is like the thing about this deck. Like, I, 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 it has a direction. Like, it does have a direction, but I don't like the direction. I feel like we could be going a different direction. I don't know. It's like you want to keep the excavate cards, but you don't because you don't want to keep like a skeleton crew Because you'd rather play it last you probably don't ever keep burrow buster So we just full mulligan for mining casualties one drops This is probably a fine card to keep in the mulligan, but still Yo, Lava Rash coming in with the raid. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? We're playing some rainbow DK that good old that good old deck that everyone loves. Some good old rainbows. Rainbows and sunshine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Walking on rainbows and sunshine. Alright, we're gonna leave this alive for now. If we can get one more excavate, then we've got the uh, the skeleton crew ready to go. But we're probably just gonna start our next turn with the reap what I sow. Perfect. Coins are coins. So Burrow Buster, find one more Excavate, and we've got the uh, the Rat ready to go, but we don't have any big minion left. We don't have a big minion yet. You're a Dory? Wait, what? That's never surviving. That's literally never surviving. <laughs> All right, throw away your Dorian then. I mean, at the same time, this matchup is probably not good for him. If he's playing uh, the deck, I think he is. But he's got the Nest Matron, so I feel like he's playing the Tempo deck, not the uh, the combo deck. Yeah, dude, he's playing for Tempo. He's he's probably going to lose now. Oh, well, what do you know? Dude, I feel like we just Tempo King this again. You know? I'm feeling a little cheeky. Okay, those are, those are some pretty good options. Imagine bringing that back instead of bringing back the 6-5. Uh, I bring uh, I bring people here uh, so they can learn a little good stream. Thank you, Lava Rush. What did you uh, play today, man? What was uh, on your uh, on your agenda today? Uh oh, that's pretty big. I mean, I think you know. I think I'm just gonna still play the rat. Yeah, I'm just still gonna play the rat, dude. It just knocks this out. It still sticks as well. Can do this, hit him in the face. Sad that I didn't have like a lethal. Well, actually, hold on a minute. There could have been a lethal, right? Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, there couldn't have been a lethal there, I don't think. We had damage from this, but I think we would have to discover damage from this as well. But there's no five damage. He's gotta be YOLOing it. I, I doubt he's gonna find it. What he needs is to like find double swipe with the funnel cake in hand. And I don't think he, pl he plays funnel cake. My favorite Clark Hell Scream out of all uh, Clark Hell Screams. This is the best Clark Hell Scream out of all Clark Hell Screams. Taunts. Ho! Oh! Reg! Rednoros! The Fire Lord! Wait, what are you doing? He's still playing cards. I mean, dude, that's a lot of tempo. Like, replace the Pedro with, with tempo. This guy's got tempo, tempo, tempo. Okay, well, it's still over. It's still ogre, dude. No, I'm not done yet. Come on, let me play the game. I, 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 I gotta play the game, man. I don't think we need to nerf Doomkin. It's 
a little, a little much. All right, look at this, man. How is this number 21? What are people doing wrong? What? 21? No, you won't. I mean, I'm glad 100% kept win rate, but the stat... What the hell are these stats, man? Didn't they take down its health by one? Uh, yes. It used to be a 3-5. And I and I and I can't believe that it was originally a three five. But honestly, the difference between a three five and a three uh, three four is massive. It is massive. All right, well we got corpses out the ass. We have lots of corpses. Ooh, a dragon force song. Let's go, dude. So our request being nice uh, with me today. I can't believe it. Yeah, is it gonna? Oh, okay. So yesterday, chat, Luck tried to put in uh, the new Eminem song Houdini, and the song request didn't accept it, and instead it queued up Abracadabra, <laughs> the song that it's sampled by, or the the song that Houdini samples. So yeah, yeah. Sometimes Songify does some does some funny things. You gotta be very specific with it. Otherwise, it might not work. But at least it tried, you know? It did at least try. Usually one out of five are what I want. Yo, what's this? Two raids in 36 minutes? Yo, Ryze was here coming in with the raid. Good to have y'all here. Welcome, welcome. We're, uh, we're playing some Rainbow DK. And what, from what I could tell, people love Rainbow DK. What's going on, everybody? We're listening to some metal music and we're playing Rainbow DK. Uh, you know? Actually, hold on. Yeah! Value! Value, man! Alright, we'll just do this. Bam. What am I using to show the Mulligan stats? Is that part of the Hearthstone deck tracker? It is, uh, it is a premium fat, uh, fat, uh, feature. It's a premium feature as of right now, and it will be available to everybody at some point. I don't know when, though, but I've been saying this for, like, the past, like, month and a half, two months, so it might be a while. Hopefully, it'll be sooner, though, but as of right now, it's a, it's a premium feature. A viper? don't really want to viper him right now. This into this into boom boom into... You know what? Let's just, let's just not complicate things. Let's just keep our board. Firestone uh, gives you uh, that three times uh, per week free. What they give you three uses per week? Is that what's going on? Like you can you can essentially be uh, tempted by the freemium or attempt tempted by the premium. Uh, sure. I feel like I'm just playing cards and the rogue is just slowly dying. Like, I don't even have to think about this game. I just play the cards and the rogue's like, oh shit, my board's gone. <laughs> like, they really need an impressive, um, scorpion scam. Or, I guess that too. That does kind of work. You know what? Fuck it. Protect the banner! <laughs> Let's see if it's possible to lose this matchup. I've got Primus coming out next turn anyway. This is honestly a very ambitious move that I am making here, and I'm kind of disrespecting my opponent by doing this. But I actually do need to find card draw. I feel like I'm just going to Primus for three threes. Oh, hey, now I can steal a 1-1. One, one. What? No. <laughs> no, that's not- No, that's not how this was supposed to go down! Good, good Yogg. Good job hurting yourself. Always proud of you. God damn it. Huh. 
Well, that's kind of a problem. Or is it? Oh. Wait, isn't that just lethal? Nice! Alright, cool! He's dead anyway! I tried to lose, and the game didn't let me lose. Yeah, this this deck actually does just stop rogue. Jesus, I guess we're just keeping all again against a rogue. We're going up against Edel. Oh no. Yeah, we really don't spend that many corpses. Like, outside of the weapon, we really don't have corpse spenders in the deck. We'd have to discover them. What's my alcohol choice of uh alcohol choice? Uh, I mean, it depends on how I'm feeling, honestly. I mean, if you want my, my legitimate take, I don't like drinking, in all honesty. Like, drinking is one of those things where you really only want to do it when you're hanging out with people. So, like, drinking in social situations, going to the bar, going to a concert, having a beer when you're, you know, like, doing whatever. I don't like the idea of drinking for the sake of getting drunk. But I do love drinking while hanging out with people, you know, that sort of thing. So it's like, what I love to do is whenever I'm drinking, I'll get, uh, I'll get like a beer, you know? Yeah, get it, getting drunk, I don't like the idea of, hey guys, let's get drunk today, oh my god, I wanna lose some brain cells today. Like, I, I don't like that. That's my least favorite aspect of, uh, of drinking. But if I go to a bar and I'm feeling a drink, I'll get a, I'll get like a Corona with a, with a lime or a Modelo. I'm a big fan of Cervezas. Cervezas are, are very, are very nice. I, I like them a lot. Might, I might like them a bit too much. Uh, I'm going to go with the Cool Ghoul, actually. Sticky Minion. Uh, but yeah, I like, I like various different types of lagers. I'm a very basic person when it comes to beers. But I'll dr I'll drink any I'll drink any beer honestly. I just don't like the darker beers like like a Guinness for example. G I, I I had a Guinness one time, and I'm literally drinking from a Guinness cup right now. But like the the typical Guinness, oh man, it it is not my flavor. It is way too uh, too strong for me. It it is it does not taste good to me. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm not Irish enough. I I'm Italian. I like sweeter things. So I, I, I like wine. I like the wines. W wine, I'll tell you right now. I might become, a, if I become an alcoholic in the future, it's going to be because of wine. Ever tasted German beer? Uh, I don't, don't think so. Now that I'm literally thinking about it, maybe I have because I've been to like, I I've done like beer fests and I've done like those kind of shows before. Um, But I can't like think of one right off the top of my head. Guinness tastes, tastes like ash, to be honest. It, I mean, it does. It looks like ash, too. Fucking get him. Yeah, let's do this instead. Let's think about the taunt, but... This can guarantee a minion for the 6-7 buff, most likely. Oh, thank you for that posture check, ke uh, Kext. But yeah, uh, for beers, I like I just like cervezas and different kinds of lagers. Uh, wines, I'm a I'm a red wine guy. Dry red wine is my favorite. I just like that that primo Italian stuff. Uh, but then if, if we're talking liquor, if if I do you know decide to drink liquor in a day, and I'll tell you right now, I'm either depressed as hell or I, or there's something special going on. I will only bust out you know the liquor. Uh, in a special situation. All right, so we need seven damage. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> to the mines! To the mines with you all! How about cocktails? I'm not gonna lie, man. I've never really tried cocktails. I really haven't tried that many mixed drinks. Like I've, ha I've had an old fashioned. I like old fashions, but then again, like bourbon is my liquor of choice. I like bourbon. Like I can drink bourbon straight. I can drink, uh, I can drink it with, like, you know, like a soda. I can drink it in a mixed drink like a, uh, like an old-fashioned. I've never had a pina colada. 
Do I like DMT? Who am I, Joe Rogan? No, I've never done DMT before, but the stories I've heard from people that have done DM DMT is fucking crazy. I don't think Twitch is the medium to discuss it, though. I like anything with watermelon. Well, watermelon in drinks does go super hard. But that's just because watermelon is like, it, it's perfect. It goes with any drink. It's water. It's literally part water, part lemon. Or a part Malone. Damn it. <laughs> Screwed up the delivery. It's part lemon. Yeah, it's part lemon, Clark Hellscream. Oh, son of a bitch. Stiff drink, though. <laughs> could you try a horse's neck if, uh... Wait, could try a horse's neck if you like, uh, bourbon? Whiskey, ginger ale, and bitters? Ooh. Part lemon, part, part Malone. <laughs> post Malone. Part lemon, post Malone. <laughs> oh my god, what happened here, dude? Hmm. So this will get brought back by this guy next turn. We just gotta clean up. Oh, we're gonna naturally run this guy out of cards. Okay, it's not explosive. So it's probably hidden meaning then. It could potentially be rat. But I really don't want to play into rat right now. Is the Spotify display bugged, or is uh, this song just long as fuck? Oh, this song is long as fuck, dude. This is apparently a 13-minute song. But I like it. I like this song. Big W to whoever, to whoever put it in chat. Let's play into the um into the hidden meaning because we got damage anyway. Okay, so it's probably rat trap then. When do I move in with Cantaloupe, dude? I swear to God, I'm about to text Cantaloupe and be like, "My chat demands that we move in together. What do we do?" Because I actually do want to move out of Indiana, but at the same time, I don't want to go from Indiana to California. It's not that I don't love California, but the like the expense wise, dude, Indiana is legitimately like top five or top ten, maybe top five cheapest state to live in. California is the complete opposite. It's the like top five, top ten most expensive state, if not the most expensive state to live in outside of like I think Texas. Like, oh my dear God, like if I'm struggling now, I'm gonna have to get like a side gig or something if I live in California. Either that, or we're gonna have to have enough roommates to where my budget doesn't need to increase that much. Cali is top 10 in the world, I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. You wanna spend like 6K? Yeah, 6K a month on rent for a shanty. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend 10K a month in order to have a sea shack where I, of my, where I have like a little uh, hermit crab. And the hermit crab is also paying rent for the, for the thing that's on his back. He's paying me rent. Don't ask how this is happening, but this is how I make my living in California. It's fucking rough out here. The world's largest ranking of countries and regions by English skills. The Netherlands is the... Hold on a minute, you're telling me the, the Netherlands has better speaking English than we do here in America? Unheard of. Wait a minute, we're not even in the top 12? Okay, non-native speakers? Uh, okay. Well, let me tell you, sir, here in America, we have the best English. Way better than, than that uh, than that Britain English. Boy howdy. <laughs> the natives are worse of their own language. I mean, yeah, because cause they get because they can get by. They don't need to focus on things like grammar. You know, that's why every single per like non-native speaker of like of like a uh, non-native English speaker is like, please excuse me for my poor grammar, for I am still but a but a novice at learning your very complex language. And then the guy uh, responding to it, it's like, it's good, it's good, bruh. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's, it's okay. No worries, dude. <laughs> it's like 90% rogues out here. That's why we're playing this deck, dude. It beats rogue. 
It is beating Rogue very consistently. Okay, this draws the Frost Strike. Imagine England didn't uh, make top 10 for English speakers. Well, it's supposed to be non-natives. So I don't think those, I don't even see those countries what's, like whatsoever. Like is England even on here? England's not even on this list. And neither is the United States. So yeah, it's, 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 it's not supposed to be about those countries. It's literally supposed to be about everybody else. Okay, um, if we're not playing Mining Casualties on two, what are we doing? How does Abomination beat Rogue? Because you just have Rush and Lifesteal. Like, th that's what, that's why this deck is becoming popular on the ladder is because according to the stats, it has a 60% win rate against Rogue. That last game was a little bit of a bad example, but this game, this game, we're, we're killing it. We actually have tempo. We have lots of card draw. We'll, we'll be a little bit more uh, forgiving with our resources so we uh, don't just focus on unga bunga tempo. But the way that you that this deck beats Rogue is by playing control, essentially. And sometimes you can just, you know, outvalue the board, but that's a very good draw. Damn, that's a very good stick-up card. Ooh, Mar oh, this could be a Marin game. I haven't had a Marin game with this deck yet. It's just Death Knight, that's why. I mean, to an extent, yeah. That's one way of putting it. But why But why is Death Knight good against Rogue, though? Because it has Rush, because it has Lifesteal, and it takes away the tempo of the Rogue and leaves them with no options. Bam. I explained it with words other than just saying it's just a Death Knight. <laughs> Did I try the Escamate Mage deck? Uh, it is uh, a deck I have prepared. Um, I don't know if I'll get to it today, but I am intrigued by it and might cover it for a video. I don't really think it's going to be that good, but we'll see. Hmm. Okay, we have the, uh, we have the rat. You mean jack attack mage, right? Because, uh, you name it anything else, I'm personally reporting you. Wait, what? Why didn't you tell me that yesterday? Tic Tac, I already, I already made a video talk, I, I talked about it briefly, and I said you were the one responsible for it. Great. Great. Now, 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 now I'm responsible in spreading misinformation. How could you do this to me? Been playing it for a long ass time. Are there, is there some stats that I could reference? I'd actually like to see the stats if possible. I'd, I'd like to know what it's good against. Because I look at that deck and I'm like, what is going on here? Helped her in refining it. She convinced me. All right, you're going to have to convince me then. Uh, right now in line, uh, we have Even Shaman coming up after this deck. But we got to get through two more games of this deck. But we're just destroying rogues left and right. He is responsible to us seeing it. Yeah, and he didn't tell me yesterday. But now that Jack Attack is in stream, she's watching like a hawk being like. <laughs> now she now she knows. <laughs> now I know, dude. Homie is 60% with mage and top 100. Oh God, oh no. All, all this peer pressure. Pocket said it's trash. Pocket will say most decks are trash. <laughs> Just because Pocket says it's trash, okay, the best player that plays the best decks in the world does say it's trash. It, it, it It's not a ringing endorsement, but the deck could still work. Pocket just sometimes doesn't have the, the patience to sit through a deck that requires a little bit more, uh... I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't say more refinement, but, like, if you give him a, a deck that he sees bad, he won't learn it, and he won't take the steps to learn it. You know what? It's always Marin, right? It's always Marin. Give me that wand. I don't need to kill a 4-3. I have plenty of tempo. I thought Gorgon Zormo was a Hearthstone creation, but it turns out there is a cheesemonger dragon called Gorgon Zormo and WoW selling cheese. Yes, uh, actually. Gorgon Zormo is a real thing. I, I learned that uh, because I got tagged in something concerning it. Tic Tac has been peddling this deck as his own for the last several days. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying, Jack Attack. I'm on. I'm on your side. I I would have. I would have spread the good word. 
But yesterday when Tic Tac told me about the deck, I thought it was his deck, man. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If anyone was spreading misinformation, it totally wasn't me. It wasn't me. Don't know how to act. Okay, this is just lethal. I don't want this to be lethal. I want to play the wand. So we're going to play the wand. We'll find lethal with the wand. Did I say I'd find lethal with the wand? I lied. I lied. A most a most foul lie. Well, Have I even spent corpses this game? I don't think I have. Hey, pass me the money. I had lethal this turn. <laughs> I had it this turn. But who needs lethal? I was I was hoping for something cool from the ban from the Marin, dude. Like, come on. And I drew one drops. I drew freaking one drops, mate. You might actually turn this around. Ah, oh, crap. I, des I decided to let him live for a turn. And this is what I deserve. Let's see. We have... Okay, we have the deal three. We have two frost strikes. When going for lethal isn't cool enough. They added that cheese dragon that sits uh, in Val Draken's market. I hope this legendary will find its place in decks. Looks interesting. I think there's another cheese related card that will be coming out. Wait, that's another. I mean, I deserve this. I deserve this. I 100% deserve this, but I'm just so mad that he has it. That's another one mana Ziliax. Oh, it's wait, no, 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 he could have done it. He maybe could have done it. Oh yeah, yo, dude. I wanted one thing. I, I, I and now I get a Primus. Now I now I get a Primus. Now I get the Primus. I see you, game. I fucking see you, dude. Now I get the Primus. Adorable. I'm seeing red. Okay, that'll be that'll be useful later. I mean, I'm still not losing, but I'm still upset. <laughs> what have you found out about the new cards, Clark? Uh, Marin is pretty good in Druid, Rogue, uh, and Warrior. Uh, other classes that he can be kind of good in is like you know, like this deck, for example. Uh, Gen and Baku are generally. Uh, unaffecting the meta uh, At least a top legend they are not good. There's even warlock. That is probably the only competitive deck uh, Oh today's cards we're six and two with this deck so far we are we are crushing it with this deck right now And honestly our last loss was debatably a throw Marin is broken in mage Okay, what card do you want to hit with the Marin though? Clark, you're really out of it, uh, aren't you? He meant the reveals. Oh, oh, shit! I didn't know there were new cards today. Okay, yes, I, I, I'm tired. I'm sorry. I edited a video today. I'm not 100. <laughs> percent Making the correct Hearthstone plays is already hard enough. <laughs> oh no! There we go. This rogue has nothing uh, has nothing going on here. Uh, Chad, Yogg, Ziliax, and any of the five drops. Sunsets and orb. Yeah, I'll, I was talking about in the in the Tic Tac Mage deck, or I'm sorry, the Jack Attack Mage deck, the Jack Attack Mage deck, because that deck doesn't play orb, nor should it. All right, what are what are the new cards though? Wait, we we have new cards available. Oh, 
Oh wait, we have the new Druid card that was revealed unintentionally, I feel like, in the uh, most recent uh, trailer. Yeah, did you guys see the trailer, by the way, with Raffle? <laughs> Raffle and all the other creators. There's so many other people that were in it, too. Wait, where's the new card? Wait, okay, I just found him. Wait, seven, eight. Could maybe find Lethal with Primus. Hold on. Make him draw the plagues. Make him draw the plagues. Really, dude. Alright, give me the minion then. You are going to draw the plague next turn. <sighs> this is why Frozen Over doesn't see play. He's actually got eight plagues in the deck, I think. Eight plagues. I make him draw three cards. <laughs> and this is why you take the lethal? This is why you take the This is always why you take the lethal. In my case, I have to go for content. But if you can, you take the lethal. Because then you have things like this that can happen. <laughs> Fine, wait, no, I want to see what legendaries I have. Wait, no, 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 no. Dang it, dude. I should have played it faster.